Hey y'all, how's everybody doing today? Today we're going to make ourselves a little wall hanging butterfly. It's going to be approximately about three feet wide. I say little, kind of big actually. About three feet wide, two feet tall. And I'm building it out of some Australian burrs, some brown mallee, and some red coolaber. And I'm probably pronouncing those wrong. My words, oh my god. But anyway, and black and white ebony. And think it's going to come out real nice. I'll let y'all be the judge of that. And I hope you enjoy it and like the butterfly. So let's go make some butters fly, butters fly. But Hey guys, we've got these two very unique pieces of black and white ebony here. And also this piece of brown malapy burr with a couple of small cutoffs of the burr. And I was figuring what I could do with them. So I've been playing around with it for a while and I think I've come up with a pretty nice idea. These things just have some amazing grain in them. It's part of a trunk cut off here off one side. I had these for quite a while now. I actually had uh, six of them and I've still got, well actually I have six of them. These are two of them. These are the black and white ebony. And again, this is the brown mallee burr. So let's see what we can do with them. How about a butterfly? I'm going to make a pretty butterfly so the butterfly can fly away. <laughs> Let's see about this. Here we go. We're going to lay out our wings on the back of our butterfly body and get them in the shape and the angle and the position that we think looks the best. So this is from the back side and looking across from the left and I actually looked at a thousand real butterflies. I did. I looked at them on the internet. I didn't go chasing them out in the woods. Here we go guys. I apologize. I didn't realize. I thought I had the camera on while I was screwing the backs on temporarily to make sure the notches fit. But wanted to give y'all a look. Now we got a lot of carving to do here. Let me tell you. So we're going to get at it.
here we go is look at both of the wings before we get them going and number two guys would you look at this we went and made a mess oh my god even the workbench is getting dirty I just can't believe it what a shame what a shame tisk tisk Let's go ahead and mix up our resin. Okay guys, the first coat of the clear has dried and I went ahead and I sand the wings down. I've got three coats I'm going to put on here. I might be able to get away with it in two, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be three. Sometimes that's what it takes. This isn't a flat level surface where I can do a pour. The wings are contoured and I'm trying to do a pour. Same with the, uh, the center right here. I have a recess in the middle and when I'm done I want a perfectly smooth surface I don't want to leave the contours and I'm gonna add some outlining effects in the uh, circles in the butterfly and in the centers of the wings and along the center of the body and coming down you can see the uh, the burn marks I did to put the dark parts on the center of the butterfly he's flying away no, oh sorry all right guys let me give you a look at him All right, guys, we got them all sanded up here. Nice and pretty. And now what I'm gonna be doing, let me put some clear on this so y'all can see it a little better here. Hold on. There we go. There we go. The dots that are done with the bronze in the wings I'm now going to put a section of a second coat of urethane inside of those. So that's what I'm going to get doing here. And the process I use for doing that is simply drill a hole and then tilt the drill sideways, which creates that teardrop shape in the hole that I'm looking for. So let me get set up and I'll show you what I mean. Alright guys, we've got all our holes drilled and sanded out and now we're going to do our second pour on the wings and a little more of our detailing on the body of the butterfly. And again, by Illumilite I'm using the amazing clear cast. Great little product, like I say, you can get it at your Hobby Lobbies. You can also get it online through Illumilite's website. Works wonderful. 
So let me go ahead and get this mixed up. I'm gonna put on a little good music for y'all and you can watch me pour the second part of the wings. dirty shop oh boy what a mess Alrighty guys, we got the tape off. It's the next day, but we're gonna let these set one more day and we're gonna go get to do a little turning we need to get done for our little butterfly here. Alright. Here we go guys, I didn't want to bore y'all with the last day and a half of sanding, and believe me that's a lot of sanding, but uh, and a little more sculpting sanding, just putting the texture to the body of the little butterfly here. So now I've got to get them glued up, and uh, I'm going to get it clamped up and get that going. Alrighty, let's get at it. Here's a little close up look before I get at the gluing it up because that's going to take a couple of days one side at a time but give you all a little look before it's all finished at the moment I know you can't see all the contours and the textures in the body of the butterfly but it will become apparent I assure you hey guys 
Okay, we mixed up some five minute epoxy here using this quick cure, which works real well. And we've got the first wing clamped on and dried up, and I'm going to give that about an hour, then do the same with the other one. Sorry, I couldn't show you me putting the clamps on it, but can't work the camera and my hands and all that at once. So let it dry and we'll get to the next one. Here we go, guys. It's all clamped up. Got one end of the wing clamped in a vise on the end of the bench. Okay, guys, we got the clamps off. It's the next morning, and I went ahead and screwed the back on. I apologize. I forgot to turn the camera on while I was screwing it on, but time to get to work on the hanging bracket. Boy, these shops sure do get dirty, huh? What a shame. <laughs> Hey guys, okay, we got the light mounted to the back and the hanging bracket, and now I'm going to flip it over and give it a light sand and put the final coat of clear coat on the front. I'm going to coat it one more time with a two-part urethane for the finish, and then buff it out. But I don't want to show you all that process, because then you'll see the finished product. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get that done. I've also got to put the tentacles on. But that's as simple as uh, just drilling a couple of holes in the front and poking them on. I've already got them made and got the uh, the stems painted. The stems, uh, what do you call that? The stems painted. 
So I'm going to glue those and drill a couple holes and glue those in place and put the clear on the front. And then I'm going to show you all the pretty butterfly. So, sure hope you all enjoy it. And give me a little bit, let me clear coat the front of it and I'll be back to you. Hey guys, want to give you all a little sneak peek. Uh, I forget the count now. Uh, I think I'm on day two, buffing number five or six. I forget my exact count. You lose count after a while. You know, especially when you're like me and you can't count. Here you go, guys. Here's my little majestic butterfly. Let me give you a close-up look. Sure hope y'all like it, guys. Hey, y'all. Let me see if I can give you a better look at it. Hey y'all, I hope you like my butterfly there. Uh, like I was saying, in case you're curious, it's made out of some Australian burrs or the body and the tentacles on the butterfly. The body is brown mally and the tentacles are red coolaber. And again, I know I'm mispronouncing it, no problem. Okay, the wings are made out of black and white ebony, some cuttings off of a trunk that I acquired a while back. I had uh, several of them, uh, six, eight, I forget exactly how many. Uh, you might not be able to tell the scale, but the butterfly is roughly just under three feet wide, uh, a little bit over two foot tall, about five inches thick in all, and it weighs 34 pounds. I weighed it, so I'd make sure I didn't lie to you guys. And uh, I think it came out quite nicely. It has uh, two-part epoxy on it is what the finish is on the front and then buffed up. I didn't buff it up to a full shine because I didn't want it to look like plastic. So I left it on a kind of a semi-gloss look. I think I may even take a little more shine off of it because I don't want it to look like plastic. I want the wood to show through. So came out real nicely. I like the way it turned out. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any questions on it, please let me know. If you all are new to my channel and have subscribed, guys, please leave me a message because I want to tell you thank you. I really do. Um, if, you, if you do subscribe, I'm honored. I truly am. But leave me a message and let me know so I can uh, say howdy to you at least. Alrighty? And I've got to get working on the next one, guys. You all have fun now. I'd tell you a joke, but nobody liked my last ones, so <laughs> I'll have to think of some new ones. Y'all have fun. See you in a bit now. <laughs> Bye.